Quezon served the Philippines as the President of the Commonwealth of the Philippines from 1935 to 1944. He was also the father of the national language. Pero alam ni ba na bukod sa pagiging leader ng ating bansa, ay nakilala rin siya sa kanya mga humanitarian acts? Noong 1937 hanggang 1941, kasagsagan ng Holocaust sa ilang parte ng Europe sa ilalim ng pangunguna ng leader ng Germany na si Adolf Hitler, humigit kumulang isang libo at dalawang daan na mga Jewish refugees ang lumikas at nagtungo sa Pilipinas upang makiligtas sa nangyayaring genocide o mass murder sa kontinente. From then, the Philippines, particularly Manila, became a refuge to the European Jews. Manuel El Quezon was one of the people who opened the country's doors to bring the refugees to safety. President Quezon's role was very significant because he was president of the Commonwealth of the Philippines at that time. It was not yet independent, so he was not yet uh, president in the international sense. But the reason why he was doing this was because of humanitarian concerns. He knew how difficult it was to live under conditions of hate, conditions of want, conditions of fear. He experienced that in the Philo-American War. And so he knew what it was like to experience. So, so at that time, parang that was the only, we were the only country that really opened up to them. And we were not even independent yet. Pero we opened ourselves to, to the Jews. Ang kabutihang ito na ginawa ni Quezon na talaga namang kahanga-hanga ay ginugo ni Tatuwing Agosto sa buwan ng kanyang kapanganakan. This notable moment in history is also considered as a strong foundation in the relationship between Israel and Philippines. Manuel Quezon's story is uh, incredible in so many ways and it was told today I mean, how unique it is in the context of time. And, uh, and that's uh, why I told the president uh, when I presented my credentials that uh, we Israelis have 1,300 good reasons to thank you Philippines, and but the Philippines has uh, 1,300 good reason to be a very proud nation within the family of nations because of what the actions, the humanitarian and the moral stand the Philippines uh, took and presented in those. Who would have known that the Philippines, a country far from Europe, could be a haven to thousands of Jewish refugees who were the targets of one of the deadliest genocides in history? Those who lived in the Philippines considered the country as their second home. It's so hard to connect the Holocaust in Germany and in Europe to the Philippines. No, it's layo, no? it's almost 10,000 miles. No? So to find a story na nagko-connect yung dalawa uh, and to find an individual person such as Quezon who actually reached out across 10,000 miles to help the Jews is already such a unique story. Nakakagulat nga na recently lang natin nalaman talaga to. Sana magkaroon ng pride ang Pilipino na meron siyang capacity tumulong. Lagi kasi tayong iba sanay tayo na tayong humingi ng tulong or tayo ang recipient of aid. No? At at certain points in our history, tayo ang nagbigay ng aid. Sa kabila ng pagiging banyaga, tinanggap pa rin ng mga Pilipino ang mga refugees na dinala dito sa Pilipinas. Pagdating ng mga Jews dito, actually, inaccept sila. No? Uh, parang walang, wala, kami, wala tayong discrimination. So binuksan natin yung pintuan natin. We were really willing to help them. So parang nagkaroon ng bond with many of them and the, and the Filipinos. So parang binuksan, binuksan natin, kaya yung sinasabing open doors, literally binuksan natin yung doors natin. Isa lang ito sa mga mahahalagang nagawa ng pangalawang Pangulo ng ating bansa, si Manuel El Quezon. Isang patunay lamang ito na kahit sa gipit na panahon, tayo mga Pilipino ay hospitable at matulungin pa rin sa ating kapwa. Tayo bilang Pilipino ay talagang kaya nating magmahal. This shows na meron pala tayong puso. We can accept people, not only ourselves, but tagalabas. At talagang ina-accept natin sila. So we realize na actually humanitarian tayo. Huwag natin kalimutan yung, yung bahagi na yun. Marami pa tayong hindi nahanap sa history natin. Imagine this is 75 years ago, ngayon lang natin ito nalaman, or very recently lang. And I'm sure marami pa tayong nangyari sa ating history na dapat nating malaman na kapagbigay ng pride sa Pilipinas.